All right, guys. Uh, fourth to final match. Uh, we've got this match, and then we get our two Ozeki and our Yokozuna. But it's 5.31 p.m. in Japan right now. We're live, of course, on Saturday. I'm sitting on my couch. And that's a lot of time. That's, you know, 29 minutes, basically, for four matches. Um, and so I don't know if uh, they'll stretch it out a little bit or they'll just finish a little early. Um, they have to kind of schedule in a little bit like that because, of course, you could have a long match. You could have a mono E. You could have rematches. And we just haven't had any of that today. I don't think I saw a single uh, mono E in Jurio or the top division today. And, uh, you know, so no, and no marathon matches that went like longer than a minute, which is a long time in sumo. So, uh, yeah, we're just sort of way ahead of the time schedule now. And uh, these guys can, you know, linger a little bit longer at the salt bucket, etc. than some of the younger guys, the uh, lower divisions where they kind of just keep a steady pace. But, uh, yeah, with only four match or three matches to go after this one, if you want to think of it that way and 28 minutes uh, before 6 p.m. Uh, we're in no hurry. <laughs> so, Kota no Waka, they're showing uh, him against Wakamoto Haru uh, when he lost. That's his one loss so far. But other than that, five wins for him. And, of course, five in a row until he lost yesterday to Wakamoto Haru. His opponent today, Ryuden, and then tomorrow, uh, day eight, he has uh, Takayasu, the Komosubi. But today, Ryuden, the Maigashiro 5, is his opponent, and he is at 3-3. Three and three. And he's changed the color of his Mawashi. He's kind of wearing a bronze Mawashi. Uh, haven't seen him wear that color before. So, trying to maybe change his luck or start the new year off in a different color. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know... A three and three record's not terrible. Uh, if he gets a win over the Sekewake here, that would be a boost uh, to his uh, sense of confidence, I'm sure. Uh, Kotonowaka, perhaps eyeing promotion to Ozeki. If you asked him, he'd say he wasn't. He would say, I'm just doing my sumo day to day, all that kind of stuff. But with an 11 and four back in November, even if he can't get the 13, he would need to get the promotion right away. Um, if he can get another 11 or 12 this tournament, he'll set himself up very well uh, for March. And then if he can just have a good March, doesn't have to be a phenomenal, doesn't have to win the U show, uh, he would become an Ozeki in May. So if you're a Kota Nawaka fan, you're hoping that he gets double digits plus. And if he can really just find a ways to win all throughout the second week, he could perhaps go. 14 and 1 or 13 and 2 and get promoted and we'd have a new Ozeki in March. All right, after that Kirishima, Hokuto Fuji, Hoshoru Tobizaru and Terano Fuji Shodai. I'll go over some of the winners and losers from earlier in the day in the next video. And uh, yeah, it's sold out of course at the Koku Gikan today. It's a Saturday, so people are off work. A lot of kids in the audience, so parents bringing their kids and I, I was Go to Yama match, somebody had drawn like, you know, one of the kids that was rooting for him had drawn his face on a big poster and it totally looked like a kid drawing, you know, with an exaggerated nose and everything. It was kind of fun though. And uh, some geisha there, or Maiko or whatever they're called, uh, sitting ringside very strategically. They know where they're sitting, so they get on camera a lot. <laughs> and uh, here we go. うん。今度のリュウデンです。
もろ差しを狙いに行ったんですかね,そうですね右右そう。右を取ってですね、はい、この肘張るのがいいですかね。はい、まあ、手がな。So Kota Nawaka, you know, he's he's only fought both Komasubi so far. He hasn't fought Daisho, the other Sekiwaki. He hasn't fought either Ozeki, and of course he hasn't fought Yokozuna Terunofuji yet. So he's got, I would say, four really tough matches coming up in the second week、uh, for him to be able to, like I said, get to 13 wins. He can only lose one more. Uh, but you figure, you know, there's some really tough matches. So if he can manage to get 13 against that caliber of opponent, I think he absolutely deserves to become an Ozeki. And he's having a very good tournament this time. You know, just one off the pace of Asanoyama and、uh, in maintaining his position in the one loss group. Okay, first Ozeki to see action coming up next. Come on back.